we've started this procedure um, uh, this year, and we've done five cases. All the cases have done very well, and all the children have been successfully transplanted. So right now, um, we're, we've seen nothing but success. However, if you look back at living donor liver transplant, um, our entire program, um, we started living donor uh, transplant here in New York in, in 1998. Um, Jean Iman, who uh, basically invented the procedure with Christophe Brolsch um, in 1989, uh, came here and started the liver transplant program. We have had enormous success transplanting more than 50 children uh, over the last 10 years, and the success rate has been over 95 percent um, in children needing living uh, donor liver transplants. So we have we, although the technique that we're using, it leaves better recovery for the donor. For the child, uh, we're building on a long history and a, a a lot of experience of really good results. So one of the things that limits the use of living donors in liver transplant is the morbidity associated with the donor operation. So today, uh, in 2010, almost 90% uh, of living donor kidney transplants are performed fully laparoscopically, and the donors um, recover quickly and resume their normal activities uh, in about two to three weeks. In living donor liver transplant, in contrast, um, many people take several months to recover. So um, what we're focused on here at New York Presbyterian Hospital Columbia is decreasing the morbidity associated with the donor operation so the donors can get back to life faster and faster. And we believe that that will have an impact on increasing the access for people waiting for a transplant.